What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. I have my leftover coffee here and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a long hair vlog because in today's video I want to remove the tapins that I have in my hair right now and show you how I apply a new set. I do have a few videos but I'm going to go through the whole process in today's video. You do not need freshly washed hair when you're removing tape and extensions, but you do want freshly washed hair when you're applying a new set. So this is why I recommend removing them before you wash your hair and then wash your hair that way it's freshly washed and ready for a new set because you wanna give your hair 24 hours at minimum after you apply a new set to let that tape adhere and all of that stuff. So this is the hair right now. I only have a few this time, and if you watched my previous video where I talk about injection tapins, those tapins I love so much that I ended up buying another pack. Each pack only comes with five, and it is a little bit more expensive than other tapins out there, but they're so much more seamless than any other tapins that I've tried. They blend so well into the hair. This is an up close of them. Again, it's definitely time for me to remove them, so they've grown up quite a bit. But because there's hair on top of the tape, it just looks like it's growing out of your scalp almost, especially if you really color match the root effect. That's probably the most important thing is to color match the root. So this time around, I'm gonna be applying even more and also reusing these. I feel like these held up really well. I'm just overall really impressed with them and definitely extensions that I would recommend because Amazon extensions, usually they're a one hit wonder, you use them one time and then they're so dried out that I can't use them again. But these I'm definitely planning to reuse. To remove the tape ends, I use this remover here. I get it on Amazon and I'm almost all out. But you can also use isopropyl alcohol. So I'm actually going to go ahead and add some isopropyl alcohol to this bottle. This has medical grade dimethyl carbonyl, which I believe is isopropyl alcohol, and then mineral oil, and then propylene glycol, and then a dye to kind of give it like that blue color. So you can use isopropyl alcohol usually works well so i'm just going to fill up this bottle i really like using this bottle because it has this pointy tip which really helps me get in between the tapes and apply the remover in between the tapes to loosen that glue removal should be fairly easy you just take this tip and place it in between the two sandwich tapes and kind of squeeze some of that remover in there and this alcohol helps to really loosen up the tapes and make them not sticky that way you're able to just separate them and slip it right out if for whatever reason it's not ready to come out just apply some more remover until it is do not pull or tug on the hair a lot of times when you see your own hair come off with a tape it's just hair that was ready to fall out or fell out but because the tape was holding it it had nowhere to go like it couldn't fall down so that's what you usually see a lot of the times your hair sheds naturally every single day same thing with lash extensions when you remove diy lashes the only thing that i would be concerned about is if you feel any tugging or anything like that discomfort or if you see like actual hair follicles coming out when you see the hair that's a big no-no but if you see like pieces of hair that is normal because your hair does shed every single day it just has nowhere to go when the tape is holding it so that's essentially the process for removing it and i don't have that many tapins in so it's not going to be as annoying as if i had like a full head of hair it's definitely a lot more time consuming when i have a full head but just squeeze some of that remover in between the tapes this is why i love this applicator for this bottle because I can get that tip in there and then take, it should slide right off. This tape right here, this is a single sided tape. This one's kind of a lot stronger. If you want, you can also use a comb and kind of like comb through to make sure there's nothing in there. So that's the process for removal. Once again, should not be any tugging or anything like that. If you have any tugging, just apply a little bit more remover. This is the hair with all the extensions out. I don't need extensions when my hair is short, like I could definitely get away with it even though it's still fine and thin, but I just love that little bit of extra volume. So now for the next part, because I'm going to be reusing these, I have to remove that previous tape that's on this extension piece. So this part is not fun, but usually because it's already kind of wet, you can just go ahead and grab one of the corners and peel off that old tape. Get rid of that old tape and you're going to be applying some new tape onto here which i'll show you guys in a little bit so that's what i'm doing right now is just going through every single piece and removing that old tape for replacement tape for the extensions you want to be using a double-sided tape not single-sided tape because one side is going to stick 
to the extension piece and the other side has to also be sticky. So you can't use single sided tape, you have to use double sided tape for replacement tape for the tape and extensions. I'm gonna use the same brand Glam Seamless that I use for the single sided tape ends. You get a bunch of tapes on one side, a bunch on the other side. By the way, don't mind myself tan on my hands. I'm waiting for it to fade. It was a, basically a tan fail. It's actually just one piece, just kidding. So it's one, one whole piece with the sticky side facing the extension. Make sure that you align the corners, like the rounded edges go towards the top. So then just press it down. I like how they did this. So that line down the middle is actually where you would remove to expose the sticky side when you're ready for application. So I'm gonna do this for all of the five pieces of extensions, replace the tape, and then we're gonna wash the hair because like I said, you wanna make sure that you're starting with freshly washed hair since you're not gonna be washing your hair for at least 24 hours to let the tape settle in and all that stuff. All right, hair is nice and freshly washed. I did also style it using Shark Flex Style a little bit, but now onto applying the tape ends. When it comes to applying tape ends, I will say parting your hair is probably one of the most important things. You wanna make sure that you have a very nice clean part. You don't want like any zigzags. You don't want hair getting stuck in between the tape that's gonna pull on it especially as you run your fingers through, having a nice, clean, even part is very, very, very important. So I'm gonna start off with the bottom here, and I'm gonna do a little bit of like a U shape going back. So I'll start around probably right where the top of my cheek bones are, like around the temples. Okay, maybe a little bit higher. <laughs> and go down, 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 down. You know what? I'm gonna have to move in front of the mirror because I can't really see what I'm doing back here. I have a mirror here in front of me and when I look into this mirror, I can see behind me. So I have a mirror in front and behind it. This is so helpful if you're doing tape and extensions yourself. But I went ahead and created a very clean part as you guys can see right here. Make sure you really brush all the hairs out of the way. And if you have any baby hairs, I highly recommend getting like hair drippers like this and using them to really get those baby hairs and keep them out of the way. You don't want any snagging whatsoever. So this is just really helpful to make sure none of that hair is in the way when it's time to apply the tape ends. So this time around, like I said, I'm gonna be applying a lot more tape ends. So I have the five pieces here and then the previous five pieces here, some of which I cut and I'm gonna use in the front. So I'm gonna take those out and separate them but I have so I have four left from the previous set I think I'm gonna do one two three four right here at this bottom row and a good rule of thumb is to place the tape ends about two to three I would say three finger widths away from the hairline so whether you're starting from the bottom here make sure you have about three finger widths away from the bottom hairline and then also on the sides here make sure that you don't place them any closer than about two to three finger widths from the hairline here because then you're gonna see them, they're gonna be exposed and you can't really pull the, your hair back as much. So follow the two, three finger widths rule. But I went ahead and peeled off the backing for this tape right here. So this one I'm gonna place right here. So right here down the middle, I'm gonna place it to the left side of the middle. And you wanna place it about a few millimeters away from the root. You don't want it exactly at the root because it's gonna be uncomfortable and it's gonna to be too much tension, but like a few millimeters away from the root or centimeters. And then go ahead and lift that up. And when you lift it up, you'll be able to see that some of your hair naturally lifts up with it. So grab that hair and pick it up. And then I'm using scissors, but you should use a rat tail comb. It's just that this is the closest thing next to me. I don't know what happened to a rat tail comb. It's somewhere, I just don't feel like digging for it but make sure that you have a very clean part for this piece as well when you lift it up because again, you do not want any snagging whatsoever. You kind of pin that up out of the way. And then this is when I'm gonna grab my single sided tape and align that right on top. Make sure that you align the edges as best as you can. Okay, go ahead and press it down and that's it. That's essentially the process. So I have one section, I'm gonna do three more for this row here.
Okay, so I have one, two, three, four in this first row here. And then I have two half pieces, which I'm gonna place in the front and that's gonna make up one pack. And then I have these five right here. I think I'm gonna do one more row of four and then use that last fifth piece, cut it in half and use that in the front. So I'll have two half pieces on one side, two half pieces on the other side. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done, but essentially the process is exactly the same. So I don't want this video to be too long because I feel like it already is. Here's the hair all done. I made a mis mistake of cutting them before I put them in. Although I feel like I'm still gonna be able to get, get away with it. So what I did is I took one of the extensions that was already cut and I matched that length to the rest of the extensions that I needed to cut because I did buy them. They're 16 inches and needed to be trimmed. So <laughs> the length is like all over the place right now. So next time my hair is wet when I wash it, I'm gonna go ahead and trim my hair kind of all to the same length because right now it's just, it's not good. But I added a double sandwich, like a regular sandwich, right here with a half piece. So I have one half piece here and there's one on each side, so it's a regular sandwich. And then I have one right here. And this just really helps add some fullness to the sides. And then in the back, I did two rows of four. So I have this one row of four. And then underneath that, I have another row of four. And these are single-sided, so it's a lot less weight on the hair overall and I don't know I've just been doing tape and extensions for such a long time so I wanted to kind of do a hair vlog. I wanted a lot more fullness this time around so I opted to add more pieces and I'm really happy with it. It's just the cut. I have to cut it next time around but yeah that's the end result. That's the process. I will link these extensions down below because I do think they are worth it. They have held up well. They don't feel dry and I love how they blend in to the hair. These are called the injection tape ends. I don't know, love them, would recommend them. Then I'll also link the remover as well as the tapes that I use and hair grippers because I feel like all of this is really helpful and necessary for doing your own tape ends. But that's it for this hair vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in future videos.